Hello and welcome Ethan aka 10 Tons. Uh, this interview is for the Student Music Network UK and Queen's Radio. Thanks for joining me. How are you doing? Yeah I'm good thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know as good as anyone is probably these days. Um, so let's start off <laughs> with... <laughs> Let's start off with Girl, Are You Lonely Like Me? This has been featured on BBC Radio 1. It is now over 130,000 listens, um, which has only been released in November. How have you found releasing music during COVID? Because it must be completely different. Yeah, I kind of, I didn't want last year to be a complete like loss of a year for me. So I was like, I was really determined to at least put out one song um and it was a really good project to kind of music's always good to distract myself but I kind of had that goal set that I wanted to release at least one song by the end of the year so it was a really good thing to take my mind off it and kind of just have to plan the whole release and stuff like that was really good um and I released it independently as well so that was another element of stuff that I've never done before so that was quite fun yeah yeah I mean at least you achieved your goal at the end of the year so here's resolution <laughs> for it like, yeah, it became like quite quite early on that the other things I wanted to accomplish weren't going to happen. So I was like, "What can I realistically do?" So I was like, "At least I can put out some new music, and then at least I'm kind of still feel like a musician a bit." Your list was just completely like, "I want to travel all these places," and you're like, "Oh well." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you set up a TikTok account, and nearly everybody has succumbed to TikTok over lockdown. I have literally only downloaded it a week ago because I've just got so bored and it seems to be where everyone is. So is this a lockdown hobby or is this as a like a plan that you could keep playing music and grow your industry? Because a lot of people do really well like showing off their music on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I spoke to my friend, uh, Will Joseph Cook, the singer guy. Um, <laughs> that's not a good introduction for him. But yeah, I spoke to Will and because he's like, massive on TikTok now and his last song Be Around Me has gone like viral on TikTok so I gave him a rank because I was give him a rank give him a ring because I was like am I a complete idiot for not having TikTok and he was like in short yes and kind of explained it all to me um and yeah I guess it's just like especially because of now that last single I released independently and just doing having more of a hands-on thing if I, I was like, if I get to take my song, then that's kind of a, a success, I guess. It's kind of just another way to interact with fans. Um, and it's also so funny. I spend too much time on it. I'm like, I spend so much time on it because it's just, the people on there are really, really funny. It's, it's slightly addictive because it's just like, the minute you go on, it's like video, video, video. And it's like, oh, wow, yeah. I can just keep doing this. But um, the secret I've heard about TikTok, so I'm going to let you in on it. Um, yeah. I, don't trust this because I've made no TikToks, so don't yeah. trust it at all. But what I've heard is it's all about the hashtags. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You just got to, even if it's not relevant, just stick stick a load of hashtags on that and it'll probably soar. So yeah. that's the secret. That's what Will said. He gave me like loads of little like dark art secrets of like, do this, do this, don't do that, do that. So I've like got these like little tips in my head. But kind of... Yeah, I just, I also like making little videos of me playing guitar. That's essentially what them are, so that's what I do. But, yeah, it's good. Have you considered giving in to doing the TikTok trends yet? Um, no, I just, I just, like, I've, I've definitely tried a few out myself, but then you look at them and you're like, that's kind of funny for me and my friends, but that's going nowhere else because... Uh, there's, I need to just maintain that I'm a, a serious musician. <laughs> I get that. I, 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 I made fun. one. It wasn't fun to watch back. I was a bit like, mm, this is strange. They're I don't want really to listen. You like, look at them out of the context of it being funny. You're like, oh man, that's just lame. So, yeah. I know. Um, so I've noticed your amazing work with pastels and I literally only found this last night and I was like, whoa, I've never noticed this. So what is your process when creating these pieces? And like, do you ever want to do more with that? Or are you like very happy with that being like your personal kind of go-to hobby? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I've done it for a few years, but just on and off. I don't know, I just, I was like, when I was living in London, I was just bored one day and went to Wilco's and bought some paper and some pastels 
and did a few. Um, and then the, like in the last couple weeks, I'd say I've got way back into it again. Um, and a friend of mine was like, I should start posting them just for like fun, just because you can. Um, and so I did. And I really like them. Um, thank you for saying that you like them as well. But I kind of, they're, they're kind of for no real gain other than it's just nice to go like, oh, here's a thing that I did. But yeah, I like them. I, I've got like, I'd love to turn them into merch maybe one day or use them in part of my like music artworks and stuff like that. But kind of, it's all just kind of for the time being, just a bit of fun. Really. It's cool because the last few like, you know, have like colours that kind of really remind me of like that album. Was it Born to Lose? You know, the reds and stuff that like, I think it could be really well incorporated. I thought they're, I thought they fit your vibe very well. I do Thank say so myself. Much. So you've come quite far since Lucy in 2016. Um, to now, girl, are you lonely like me? 2020. And um, so, how do you feel about the development of your music since then? Because it's been a good few years, and I don't feel like your styles changed, but there's something different. I've like I don't know heard throughout your music. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I just feel like well, obviously everyone's massively different in those like just the human would be different in those in that time period anyway um and I guess I just I feel like the music's slightly more I don't know what the right word is like not mature but kind of that is what I'm looking for a less like stupid word for it but kind of I don't know I feel like a much better songwriter anyway from when I was 18 because I would hope that I would be anyway but um, and I think I kind of just have more of an idea of what it is that I want to do um, and all the new songs I've write, been writing as well um, and recording and stuff like that are, are really interesting I think and sound really cool and they sound like a cool progression on that kind of those earlier records. The kind of reason I chose to put out Girl Are You Lonely Like Me is because it's kind of like it's not a million miles away from my last record as opposed to some of the other stuff I'm writing is a bit further removed, but it's kind of like just trying to slowly like bridge a gap to the two points. Um, so yeah, I think they're just slightly more fully formed and kind of a bit more me. Yeah, no, well, to be fair, nothing was better than the shock factor the Panic of the Disco had with like shoving out pretty odd after their last album. And um, that really did it for me and a turnaround in that. But um, I suppose as well, like how many songs have you like kind of got in the works at the moment, you know, got a few more like kind of brewing. Singles ready to go are about the same time as the last, um, as Girl Are You Lonely, Lonely Like Me. Um, so that'll be coming out in the next few months. And then actual good ones that will probably see the light of day, there's 10, but in total there's about 24. Um, and I just write every day. So there's more in the works as well, but yeah, we'll see what. Happens. that's amazing you've written 24 songs over this so you've not been deprived of like inspiration whatsoever over this time not at all I like I don't know I just I really like the one thing I love doing like so much is writing songs I just like love the like it's like art and the kind of skill of it like a really well written song to me it's just like that's so good um so I'm, it's like something that I'm constantly devoted to trying to be better at um so yeah, right all the time. I really like it. It's good for my brain as well. 